Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, more Chrono Trigger. The lightning kind of threw me off there. Uh, in the last episode, oh, oh, I didn't click in the game, sorry. Uh, I was adjusting volume on OBS, but um, last time we we went here to the Aeris Dome, yeah, uh, and we fought a big robot to find a seed because we thought it was going to have food. And then we went to the abandoned sewers, uh, and went down there to that island, can't really see it, but to Death Peak, and to the other dome, the Keeper Dome, down there. And now, we're gonna go through Site 32. The, uh, the old man gave us a jet bike key. Wow, I do need to turn this down on my headset. <laughs> um, he gave us a jet bike key, uh, and said that we could use it to get through the ruins, which we can. I was gonna say, I guess... I thought you could also go through the ruins manually, and I think you might be able to, but, um, not this first time. Hold it right there. Oh! Bro! Thanks for the intro, boys. Bro! You lowlifes can call me Johnny. Oh, sorry, should I do- You lowlifes can call me Johnny. Silverhand. I'm the leader of this pack my Keanu impression, I guess. Now listen up. The the ruined highway up ahead's the only road you got. You want to reach the other side, then you're gonna have to race in a race against me. Ride in a race against me. Whatever. I'll let you use that jet bike, because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it, and don't you dare chicken out, babe. So, do you shiny axles know how to ride? It's probably, it's not, that's not even a really good one. Vinny can do a pretty good one, but... Sorry, I saw Johnny. And again, I, I said it in, uh, I think Animal Crossing I talked about it, but, um, I've been playing Cyberpunk a lot recently, so. Uh, this little minigame is not something that I'm particularly fond of. Uh, you can see that we, we kind of are going back and forth with Johnny here. Um, uh, you get points when you're ahead of him, you lose points when you're behind. The goal is to try and do what I'm trying to do there, which is, like, block him. Uh, you do have a boost. Which, we actually have three boosts, which if you use them properly can probably really help your score. Oh no! Oh, I thought I used it too soon. But you can also use it uh, right at the end there to make sure you win the race. Because if you lose the race, then you're going to have to keep doing it until you win, basically. And then we get some nice Mode 7 graphics here with uh, the jet bike. I guess it's not technically Mode 7 anymore because it's not running on an SNES, but and capture that feeling. You beat me? I don't get it. Well, you can come challenge me again anytime. We'll ride the whip, babe. Alright, yeah, I think there are, like, extra stuff that you can get there, but I don't really care too much for it. Uh, you can cross the ruins normally. Um, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, because I don't want to make this episode longer than it probably will be already. Alright, so there's the abandoned, or the derelict, sorry, derelict factory up here, which we will need to come to, but not quite yet, because our goal was to get to Protodome, uh, and that's where we are. We've already fought these guys, I think I'm just gonna cut this battle out. Auto-battling sometimes is useful. Oh boy, more of them. Luca leveled up in that fight, there's an Enertron here, which is nice. But you're still hungry. I know in the old translation it just said, but you're still hungry. And I remember that line because I used to watch uh, an old YouTuber who still actually makes videos. Um, I watched him play this game a very long time ago when I was, I think, still in elementary school. What's this thing? It's in bad shape, but it looks like a humanoid robot. Incredible. Hmm. I think I can fix it. What? Fix it? What if it attacks us like the other ones? I'll make sure it won't. Robots don't attack on their own free will, you know. They only do it because humans make them that way. Luca, you really feel for them, don't you? I better get to work. I love these little scenes where it's just like the characters hanging out. The door won't budge. Alright, that should do it. I'm gonna give it some juice. I, 
I don't know, I think it probably was from that playthrough, but <laughs> the, the similarity between this song and Never Gonna Give You Up is kind of crazy. Got the Rick Ashley robot here. Good morning! Good, good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress, I'm Marl. This is Chrono, and that's Luca, the one who fixed you. Understood. Madam Luca restored my circuits. Just Luca will do. That manner of address could potentially cause offense. I am incapable of offensive speech. Well, some of us don't like it when people are so formal all the time. Isn't that right, Marl? Hehe. <laughs> Understood, Luca. Alright, so what's your name? Name? Perhaps you were referring to my serial number. My serial number is R66Y. R66Y. Cool. Cool? What are you talking about? That won't do at all. Come on, Chrono, let's give him a better name. Oh, my headset's immediately dying. Um, yeah, his default name is Robo, and I'm going with the default names. Robo. Yes, Robo. That's perfect. Sorry, I'm looking for a cord. Uh, your new name is Robo, okay? Sorry, plugging my cord into my headset. My name is Robo. Data storage complete. Hey, Robo, there's something I was hoping you could... What happened here? This dome contained many humans and others like me. Oh, dear, this is kind of hard to say, but I think something awful happened while you were out. I, I don't think anyone else has left. I see. What about yourselves? We came through a gate, a uh, time warp from the year 1000. We learned there was a gate here when we went to Aristone. And then we found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chamber is sealed shut, so it looks like we're out of luck. Apparently the robot's strength isn't enough to get through either. The dome's power has been shut off completely. The factory to the north contains an emergency power generator for this dome. I can bypass security to activate it. Shall we go there? You'd do that for us? You repaired me. Now it is my turn to be of assistance. However, the generator will produce power for only a short time. Someone must remain here to open the door as soon as power is restored to the door. Dome. Marl or I can stay. So who will stay behind? This is the first choice uh, in party members, since we can only have three. Um, hmm. It's kind of... It really, it's your choice. I don't know that there is a better or worse option here. Um... I think I'm gonna go with Luca. Um, oops, I guess I said Luca can stay. Should stay. Eh, that's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think that there's like a bad option really. Um, I, I just think, uh, initially at least, you're gonna have. Luca's gonna be more focused on offense, and uh, Marl's gonna be for, more focused on like support, like healing kind of stuff, so. Just keep that in mind. I generally keep Marl in my party a lot longer than I should, probably, just because I like having the security blanket of having a healer, but um, I know she's not viewed by the community super favorably, but override security system 00. zero. Alright, got some new enemies here that are similar to enemies we've seen before, um, but uh, yeah, they're acids. Um, I believe they can only be harmed by physical attacks, uh, so don't be tricked by seeing the low damage numbers. They just have a lot. They don't have a lot of health. They just have really uh, high uh, defense, I guess. Um, wow, it's really hot in my room. Um, buh, 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 buh. What was I doing? Um, we did, oh yeah, I was going to show, uh, this is why I don't think that, like, it's super necessary to have, um, to have Marl along, because Robo has Cure Beam, which, uh, I think actually might do more healing, yeah, it might be the same, um, uh, healing as Aura, but you can see that they got Aura Beam, which, uh, is a group heal, which is kind of nice, although, I guess Marl and Chrono already have Aura World, but whatever. Chrono has to stay in the party, at least for now. He, he will stay in the party for most of the game. Alright, 
So the main thing that we need to do is get these barrels out of the way. Um, there are two of them. And the way we do that is we're going to come where? Not down here. We're going to go over here. Um, and we need to get along this uh, conveyor belt. The issue is if we run into enemies on this conveyor belt, it will uh, have a magnetic hand come over and pick us up and take us back to the start and we'll have to fight just a whole lot of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I don't know <laughs> I, I just it kind of this this place is not my favorite area in the game um, I'm not a big fan of the way it's designed here oh no oh boy okay as with everything it's only it only matters if chrono is touched the other party members don't count I guess uh, we're right at the end. I don't want to do this. So basically, yeah, um, yeah, the, the hand would put you up at a track, and I think there's three battles I have to go through, um, and then you need to remember to duck off at this point. Um, and there's a door through here. This is another one of these things that always confused me as a kid. There's, uh, you just have to know that there's a door here. Um, that you can go through. Can I even get? Oh, I was gonna say, can I even get through here without fighting these guys? And the answer is no. Wow. Okay, we just got a lot. Um, so Robo got Laser Spin, which is a really nice uh, attack for this point in the game because it just attacks everything on the screen no matter what. It's not like uh, Cyclone where it needs to be in a certain area, it just attacks all of them. Uh, that little symbol means uh, it's more akin to doing shadow damage. Robo can't really do magic, but his lasers, or his laser attacks uh, come off as uh, shadow magic. Um, so, keep that in mind, too. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so now that we're up here. So basically, yeah, what would have happened is we, we would have got put right at the start. And in each of these rooms here, there are uh, battles, and I think they get progressively harder. Um, so, didn't want to do that. Uh, this room, I believe, has a code in it for us. No, it's not empty game. Um, to check this. Uh, crane control codes. Uh, pattern 00AB and pattern 01XX. AB and XX. Alright. Alright, I guess I'll fight these guys. Oh, no, I won't. I was... Okay. I, I thought it triggered the battle, but apparently it didn't. Alright. Um, so what that uh, did, similar to the... Um, the uh, code in Aristome. Um, I'll fight these guys. I don't want to be too underleveled. actually a two-parter battle. Two more enemies drop down after that. But anyways, so once you get here, uh, to activate the crane, wave for the uh, tone and uh, white flash, and then press any of the two. Uh, okay, yeah. So same kind of thing. So A, B. That was the first code. That'll move this barrel. This is the same claw that will grab you. I guess they call it a crane. But... And now that barrel will have to fight the enemies. And that's not the only one. We gotta go X, X. And watch this very slow animation. <laughs> I know they want to make it seem like methodic. I, I, uh, I should have brought this up at the beginning of the episode. I actually made a separate save for this recording because um, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to 
record, but I'm, do- I'm doing all right. Uh, I have a little bit of a cough. It was really bad this morning. Um, I thought it was getting better, but it ended up being kind of not great this morning. Um, oh, good, the enemies respond. Um, so I apologize if I end up hacking and not hacking as in like computer hacking. I mean like hack, cough hacking. Although I'll, I'll cut that out if I did that. All right, there's the Thunderblade. If you didn't go to um, uh, bu- 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 the abandoned sewer, didn't go through the abandoned sewer and get the Thunderblade, that's there for you. That's why I said it wasn't a big deal uh, if you were just going to go through the sewer for uh, the sword because there's another one right there. Ultra High Security Door Lock System Code XABY. Decoding ABXY. I don't know why they did that. Maybe because they figured most people would be playing with Xbox controllers, but um, it used to be called the Z- the Zabi uh, con- uh, door control system, but it was spelled uh, Z Z A B I E. Um, but then it told you the code, and it was like, oh, X A B Y Zabi. Like, I don't know, goofy, but whatever. So over on this side now, now that we have this code. Um, as a save point, do I need to heal? Pro- I have plenty of shelters. Of course, after I say I'm actually doing all right, I um, I uh, started coughing again. But you can see there, I I made another save just in case I needed to re-record this episode, which has been a theme of this series so far. All right, well I guess we have to fight these guys before we can do the computer. Why well, I didn't mean to have auto battle on. Um, I'm assuming the other guys are called bases, if these are acids. No, they're al- alka- okay, alkali. Uh, I don't know what these guys are weak to, honestly. I get them confused with the acids. It's the acid you're starting to taste. It appears at this depth, I think he says. I was almost at level. That's a weird movie. And if you know what movie that is, you know exactly what I mean by that. <laughs> I want to make a... I don't even want to say what movie it is, but I'll say that I want to make a video on it. And, uh... I have been stuck with writer's block, because I'm like, what the fuck do I even say about that movie? Alright, I'll say it. It's the house that Jack built. Um... And it is a very odd movie. It's basically a serial killer in the 70s and 80s, I think, um, who describes all of his killing and makes them, makes people try to believe that they're art. And he does this by explaining shit to the, the Roman po- uh, poet Virgil. All right, anyways... Um, the uh, uh, titanium vest there we got is an upgrade to that. I think I'm going to give it to Marl if I can. Yeah, it's unisex because Marl probably needs more uh, buh, 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 defense. Notice how I do that. I call myself out there when I can't think of anything to say. I just go like buh, 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 buh. All right, this computer. I think this is the one. Nope, never mind. I don't even know. I guess they didn't even... All systems down. Defense lasers deactivated. Oh, and a big battle. Alright. Um, that was kind of an annoying battle. Uh, so yeah, the laser that was here, I guess, uh, is no longer working. This is actually the same elevator as before, so if you want to go up again and save, you can. I probably don't need to do it. I don't need to heal, do I? Uh, no, I'm fine. Um, yeah, we'll be alright. Um, so that actually, I don't know that... Yeah, I think you do. I was going to say, I don't know that you need to do it, because you can also just uh, come over here to this ladder, um, which will actually be important uh, later, but there's the elevator if you want to take that instead. I am going to use a few healing... Well, I'll use... I'll, since I haven't had moral use any of her stuff. Uh, I'm gonna just weirdly not heal Robo, and maybe you'll see why in a sec. Uh, that's equipment for Luca, but I guess we can't give it to her, because she's not here. Xavier door. Oh, here it is. Okay. 
but they made it A, B, X, Y. Weird. As I was saying with that, though, because the Xavi door system, it used to be X, A, B, Y, but that was the code, because it was like Xavi. That was what you were putting it, but whatever. I don't know why they changed the code for the remake, but they did. I wonder how they handled that on... Well, I guess... I don't know, because I knew that there was a mobile port, but I guess that they probably have buttons on the screen. Emergency, the security system has gone haywire. We must escape immediately. Sorry, that was not the ro voice that I had been giving for Robo. Probably have more accurate Robo voice than mine, but... Hurry, before it's too late. That's my Robo voice. That wasn't quite right either. Flexing on us there, Robo. Yeah, so if you try to take the uh, elevator now, it will uh, it will say, like, oh, you can't do that because we're in an emergency. So, ladders it is. Alright. As we get up here, see something that I believe I first saw in the opening cinematic when I was a kid. Because I never got this far. Wait, well, not never. I eventually got this far. But Wait, these are my friends. R64Y, R67Y, R69Y, it's good to see you again. What are you doing? You are defective. You are not one of us. Pardon? I am malfunctioning. Affirmative. A defect. I am a defect. Have you forgotten our assigned task? All intruders must be eliminated. That was the reason for my creation? You are- d you disgrace our series, you must be destroyed. Yes, yeah, so they're gonna beat the fuck out of him here. Robo, Chrono, they're tearing him apart! If we try and do anything, can't do it. D don't uh, don't harm them, please. These robots are my brothers. Please. But what about you? The music in this game is so good. Like, the music really adds to this scene. Yeah, they're robots, but like, I don't know. There's definitely... I don't know. The, the way robots work is kind of weird in this universe, but whatever. Especially given all the stuff with AI going on right now. Now we shall eliminate the intruders. <laughs> right there. You cocky, cocky boxes of bold. So you're not going to get away with this. I can't fucking read. Whatever. I'm like a little closer to my monitor than I normally am, and I think it's just messing up how I'm seeing the words. Anyways, uh, this fight is... Uh, eh, it's alright, um, mostly what I do is have Chrono spam, uh, Cyclone on the middle one, and then just have Marl heal herself and Chrono so that neither one gets too badly beat up, and that's my strategy, and that's kind of why I prefer to take Marl, I guess, uh, instead of Luca, because if you do take Luca, uh, you don't have a real healer for this fight, she can use items and stuff like that, and as I said, I have plenty of items. Um, but, I'm just gonna actually, oh, and there's the counterattack from Chrono. Um, do it again, Chrono. Yeah! Depending on, I was gonna say, depending on how much damage he does, he might actually get those two. Not the middle one. Yeah, no, he got both of them. Nice. And did this one just self-destruct? Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, not too tough. Not too tough. Marl leveled up. That's the second level she got in this place. I see him. He got stuck. Oh no, what should we do? He's in terrible shape. Colonel, let's take him back to Luca. This nice little cutscene here of whoever, in my case, Chrono and Marl dragging Robo back to the dome. That'd be really strong. Can you 
fix me. Shh, don't try to talk. You are trying to change the world. I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. Anyway, Robo, what do you want to do after I finish repairing you? What do I want to do? Didn't you just try and tell him not to talk? Whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, you were stuck here all this time. There must be a lot of things you want to do, right? No one has ever asked me that before, Luca. Hell yeah, now he's back to his old brick Astley ways. Good morning. Robo, thank goodness you're alright. Luca, you're incredible. Well, let's hope I never have to do that again. Luca, I've arrived at an answer to your question. I want to go with you. Really? You mean it? There's nothing left for me here. I want to help you. Together, we might be able to give life on this planet a chance. Nod. Then let's go. The gate's right through there. You can finally go home. Everybody posing, because this is an anime game. I'm getting all duffed up in my nose. That didn't look good. This isn't home. Where are we? Alright, so Robo's gonna kinda awkwardly just always be running here. This is like the only point in the game. I don't, I don't even, yeah, I guess Robo isn't even really counted as a party member, but we kind of have four party members here. Hi. Ugh, uh, more drifters. Drifters? Where are we? It is not a question of where, my friends, so much as when. This is the end of time. Travelers lost in time's flow turn up here, much like driftwood on a beach. Might I ask where you are from? We're from 1000 AD. I come from the year 2300 AD. When four or more en entities of varying origins enter a temporal rift together, the torsion exerted on time's flow pushes them to the point of least resistance, here. There have been a number of folks turning up here unintended recently, like yourselves. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means it would be safest if one of us stayed here. Here? Alone? It is a bleak place, isn't it? But not to worry. For all its de desolation, it is well connected. There are roads here to any time you could ever wish to visit. Should you desire, you can call upon your friends at any time, but you can never travel in groups more than three. One of us must remain. Who will it be, Chrono? It's gonna be Robo, because uh, I need these three for a second. I will be happy to assist you again whenever you need me. Well, that is the way of things. Should you desire to switch party members, you can do so via the main menu whenever you wish. How do we get back to our own time? You saw the pillars of light when you enter when you arrived? Yes? Each connects to a place to a different- uh, whatever. I can't read. Once you've been through a gate, you can use it to return here whenever you wish. Step back into the light and press A once more and you will return to the gate. But beware, the gate connected to that bu bu that bucket. Yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, so this place is just like, it's kind of like the, the hub, I guess. Um, all our characters will hang out here when they're officially in our party, like Robo's officially in our party. We can just use them whenever we want. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that is that. I guess I have been going for thir uh, 31 minutes, so I think I am going to end the episode here. Uh, next time, uh, we will try and get back to our own time again, uh, as we have tried and failed to do this time. Uh, thanks, everybody, for, uh, for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.